Here we go. When you try to fly, don't hit a Hi everybody, this is Nick with me, myself, Android.com. And about a week ago, uh, maybe two weeks ago now, um, the hot topic on Twitter and around the Android community was 8pen. 8pen was coming out. 8pen's coming out to the Android market. 8pen's now available. Um, go get 8pen, you know, yada, 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 yada. And, um, you know, I, I never really wanted it, never knew what it was. Uh, I like my HTC keyboard. Um, well, today uh, I found it was av it, they were charging for it originally, um, I believe. Um, and today I saw it was available for free on the Android Market. They dropped the price. I'm assuming to free. They dropped it to free. I'm assuming because not too many people were downloading it. Um, it's really, really hard to get used to. Take everything you know about a keyboard, throw it away. This is a completely different experience than any other keyboard available today. And that's how they intended it. That's what they wanted. They wanted something different. Their theory, uh, the developers be behind 8pen, their theory was if the keyboard was invented on the for a phone before it was invented for a computer, what would it look like? You know, we took a, comp a computer keyboard and made it onto a phone what if we started here first? What would it look like? And this is what they came up with. This is what they thought it would look like. So they rearranged all the letters. They put the most uh, commonly used letters on the inner circle here, and then worked, you know, worked uh, around. So um, you know, A and O and T and E and Y and I, and the period and the comma for some reason are most commonly used. And then L and N and you know, so you get the drift here. And they have. Um, you know the back button the capitalize button the number button they have voice input so when you're about to throw your phone against the wall because eight pens so hard to get used to you can just use the voice input they have a return key here so I searched I mean literally I had no idea how to use this so I was playing around and I didn't know what the heck I was doing um, I had no idea how to use it at all and they absolutely should have um, put a let's see here where is keyboard when you first install it you can go to the settings here they should have put a video review or a video uh, tutorial in the application so there would be a button here that says how to use and it'll play a quick little video for you that is not available you have to figure it out all on your own there is no instruction on here on how to use this keyboard. And since it's so completely different than any other keyboard that's ever been invented, they should have had a, a how-to button on their settings here somewhere. But they chose not to for some reason. Not to worry. That's why we're here. So we'll tell you how to use it. To use Open Pen, you put your finger here in the middle button, okay? And you... Um, so let's say let's say uh, what are we gonna type here? We'll type the we'll type the okay. So you put your finger in the middle button. This little menu pops up. This is what you're gonna want to look at since you're pretty much covering up the keyboard with your finger. So you want to go down for T, okay? Because T is in that bottom qu quadrant there, and since it's the first one or on the right side, so you go bring your finger up to the right, and since it's the first one, you just go to the one quadrant to the right. And then back to the middle, that's T. H, you go back down again, go up to H. And E is down here. E, the. There you go. And that's how you would type the. Now, and then you type, or you just tap that circle again to get the space. Let's try brown. Now, like I said, it takes, it'll take an enormous amount of time to get used to this. But, once you get used to it, it could theoretically be faster, I guess. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it would take a lot for me to use this brown um, to use this over a standard keyboard. See, I just screwed up there. Once you get the, the hang of where the, each letter is, though, it could... 
Um, see, like right now I'm searching, I'm trying to find where the X is. There's the X. Quick brown fox jumped. Where's the J? See, that's what takes the most amount of time is looking for each letter. So once you finally find... Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so you see how it how hard it is but I give him this it's different and if you want you know if you think this looks pretty cool and you can get used to with the letter layout quickly then check it out because it's completely different and it, it you know if you got big fingers this could be better for you know for um, typing in my opinion I won't be using it but it's just too 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 much of a drastic jump um, let's see where's that X oops let's see it's just too much oh jocks what am I doing quick the brown fox oh geez I screwed this letter up or this whole sentence up the quick brown fox so anyway that's how you type on it <laughs> start here in the middle go go to the quadrant you want so if you want T you go to the bottom up one spot over H bottom up two spots and you see it pop up and then down oh. there we go T H E I wish you could go back. See, you can't go back. Once you screw up, once you go too far, you go too far. You can't. There we go. So, anyway, that's 8 pen. It's extremely difficult, <laughs> extremely frustrating, but give it a try. Check it out. What could it hurt? You might fall in love with it. You might like it. It's not for me. I have a hard enough time typing on keyboards, I don't need added stress involved with it but um it's for available for free in the android market might be something you enjoy and once again it's called eight pen like the number eight so let's see here eight pen pen is right there e and i think i'm getting the hang of it folks you might see me in about a week using 8pen. There it is, 8pen. Check it out, free in the Android market. Until next time, be sure to check out me, myself, and droid.com for all your latest and greatest news and app reviews. And hit me up on Twitter if you got a question, um, and we'll be sure to answer for you. Until next time, have a good day. Down, down, down. Down, down.